Good morning. This is Greg once again at the Pocatello National Weather Service office with the weather hazard briefing for Thursday, June 13th, 2024. Uh, not much change uh, from the last few days. Uh, basically very warm conditions through Friday. Uh, we're going to see some breezy conditions Friday and then a pretty windy day on Saturday as we're going to get a pattern change and much cooler temperatures will begin to move in. Uh, the key points, as I said, warm through Friday. And we're going to see winds pick up Friday and winds and very windy conditions on Saturday. We'll probably need some wind highlights on Saturday. We're going to see a cooling trend beginning this week on much colder temperatures Saturday through Monday and even into Tuesday. We could see a bit of isolated thunderstorm activity mainly in the upper Snake Highlands on Friday. And then more widespread showers and isolated thunderstorms on Monday as we get a second front move through. Looking at the satellite imagery this morning, uh, generally clear skies. We did have some showers move through central Nevada, northern Utah, but uh, not much going on in Idaho. And again, should be uh, mainly uh, sunny through the day today. Weather risk outlook. Uh, we do have the flood warning out for the Teton River near Driggs. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be pretty quiet today. Uh, winds will be fairly light. Then Friday, breezy conditions everywhere. Some isolated showers and thunderstorms in the eastern highlands. Uh, Saturday, uh, the main winds will be in the Snake River Plain. Uh, very windy, Magic Valley. It'll be windy or breezy everywhere on Saturday. Temperatures will cool. And then Monday, another system will have showers, isolated thunderstorms throughout the entirety of central southeast Idaho. High temperatures today. It's going to be the warmest day uh, probably for the next several. You can see a lot of upper 80s, lower 90s across the Snake River Plain, Eastern Magic Valley, some of the southern valleys. Uh, and very warm everywhere, even some mountain locations well into the 80s. And wind gusts this afternoon, not significantly strong. Some higher numbers above 25 miles per hour for gusts in the Lost River Range. But overall, uh, not, not significant or impactful winds today. Low temperatures Friday morning, uh, very warm. A lot of 60s and lower elevations and 40s and 50s in the mountains. High temperatures Friday, still well above normal. A little bit cooler than today by about 4 to 6 degrees. But again, widespread 80s, lower elevations, 70s again in the mountains. Uh, wind gusts much higher Friday afternoon, a lot of 25 to 35 mile per hour gusts through the Snake River Plain. And in some areas of above 40 uh, in the upper Snake River Plain, and mainly the INL, uh, Sites Arco, Mud Lake Desert. Uh, rainfall amounts Friday through Monday, not significant, a uh, few hundreds, uh, mainly in this upper Snake, upper Snake River Plain, Centennial Mountain region. And then Saturday, we're going to start to see the big cool down, high temperatures dropping to the 60s in the mountains and 70s uh, across the lower elevations. And here's the wind gust outlook right now for Saturday. Again, very windy, a lot of 45 to 55 mile per hour gust forecast across the Snake River Plain, even some of the southern mountains, some 30 to 40 mile per hour gusts. So it's probably like we're going to see at least a wind advisory for many areas on Saturday. Uh, high temperatures by Sunday, even cooler, uh, generally 50s and 60s mountains and mainly 60s to lower 70s, lower elevations. And then Monday, you see a continued drop of the forecast high temperatures. Uh, Looks like everyone will be below 70 on Monday, mainly 50s and 60s across the whole region. Uh, the cool down should be fairly quick as we go into the 8 to 14 day outlook as we get into the first week of summer beginning June 20th. Generally uh, trending towards a better chance of above normal temperatures once again and near normal precipitation forecast. So summarizing, again, a couple more really warm days today and Friday. We're going to start to get a lot windier Friday and a very windy day expected on Saturday. And then a significant cooling trend through the weekend, uh, much colder high temperature Saturday through Monday. And we'll be well below normal uh, by Saturday and continuing into the early part of next week. 
Not significant precip, but at least some isolated thunderstorms in the eastern mountains on Friday. And then showers and thunderstorms possible on Monday. We may have a bit more widespread activity then. So that will conclude the briefing today. If you have any questions, contact us at the number listed below 24 hours a day. Visit our website and also on social media on Facebook and Twitter X. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice day today.